Sidewalk Capital Reserve Fund. This is a fun one. You know, we had a discussion about the Protected Clothing Fund earlier. And the same applies here. Every year, we put money in the budget for sidewalk repairs. And almost every year, nothing happens because the money is too small to do anything with from a contractor's perspective. And so the money just doesn't get spent and it gets put in the unassigned fund balance and so it's going to get spent on whatever later on. So the appropriation of sidewalk repairs is perpetually in a state of near void. By having a capital reserve fund, if we don't spend what's in there one particular year, it'll still be there to accumulate so that we can do some real sidewalk repair. So I think the mechanism for financing the activity of sidewalk construction and repair is absolutely correct. And I have to say I've been advocating this for some time in the Budget Committee because I objected to them having several warrant articles for the sidewalk and then having money for sidewalk repair in the budget. And more or less this was my uh, suggestion as to the best way to go. Um, the real issue is whether or not you want to spend any money on sidewalks, period. From my mind, this is the best mechanism to, from a financing point of view, it's the best mechanism to approach it, assuming that you think that we should do sidewalk construction and maintenance, primarily maintenance. So that's what I have in my mind. Mr. LeBranch, Mr. Morgan, next. Thank you. No, after Mr. LeBranch. <laughs> we put. Every year we put a little over $20,000 into the DPW budget and it's not enough to get anything yeah. done. This is the beginning of a savings account where we put, a, put some money in there. 100000 is, is sort of seed money to get this thing started and then, um, then they can draw down from it as they, as they see necessary to actually get something done, perhaps when there's enough money in there to actually do something. Um, I see Brian shaking his head over there. And um, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Mr. Moore. Uh, I, no, to begin with, I think having a reserve fund for the sidewalks, I think, is an excellent idea. That's number one. Uh, I do have a question, though, in, in reference to when they talk about the American Disabilities Act, because I know on all new sidewalks you have to, I think it's like six or eight feet wide, but they have to be wider than the currently up. But that, that's all for new stuff. I kind of interpreted this would be, I'm making this up, I'm just asking for, can you help me out here, please? The fact if it was something that is already like the, the current standard and it has to be repaired, they repair it, it's at its current size and they don't expand it out into the street and then you have to redo the street. Is that? That's correct. So, so this money would be to repair existing sidewalk the same way it is now. As well as construct new. And on new construction, then we do the American Disabilities thing, which I think is a wonderful idea. But I just going back and doing it might eat up the money. I, I just was trying to understand it. Better. No, it's uh, the six foot, the six foot uh, width requirement is for, for brand new sidewalks. Right. Only. Only. Presently. Um, <coughs> Existing sidewalks you can repair uh, without any implications on ADA. I think the implied desire by almost everyone is when we repair a sidewalk, we're going to put in those little ramps on the corners. Right. Right. That's a great idea. Require. Yeah, yeah like that. Good I don't think ADA little requires little. us to do that on a repair. I just think it makes sense to do it on a repair. I agree. You know, right. I think everyone agrees with that. So um, I think we're all understanding this pretty well. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Wilberg. I'm against this. Okay. Um, I watched the discussion, and if you, if, if my colleagues look, the vote was 2-1-1, and I believe Selectman Bynes abstained. Mary Louise was against it. Um, we have sat here, and we talked about all the stuff Public Works needs to do. And for the life of me, um, we don't maintain, and, and, and this is not a slight to but I don't think we maintain sidewalks now that we have. We put... I am all for capital reserve fund concept, as you alluded to, but I just think, and, and believe me, this 100000 is is misleading. It's a joke. I mean, it's, it's not even going to do anything. I mean, it's going to take years. 
as far as the American Disabilities Act, we've had issues, and even uh, Mr. Pluff and I were on it. I mean, it's, that's, that's a road you don't want to go down too right. often. But I think it's another example of, well, let's try to find a place to put it. We know we need it, but we haven't been funding it. And to Steve's point, there's just so many other things. And, and, to, and I know Regina's probably comment, and she did a great job explaining. It goes back to what I've said, Selectman Bond said tonight, this whole planning aspect. We just seem to throw stuff. We've got enough. We're asking, and remember, we're talking about the town tonight. We haven't even got into the school stuff and the millions of dollars that they're going through and stuff. We've got to sit back and say, okay, it's a nice to have or a need to have. When I listen to this discussion, which I thought was pretty relevant with the, the, the four selectmen who were there, I didn't get the impression there was an overall great rah-rah for this article even though it was a 2 one one And I, I refer to, if, if Selectman Vines wants to comment on that. I would like to. I actually abstained because I wanted to be neutral, actually, until this discussion here at this committee. So I'm just going to sit here and listen to all of you, if you don't mind. Yeah, and I, I like how it's worded, but I just think it's an, I, here we go. Who's going to fix what? I mean, <laughs> we don't have enough staffing as it is now. We, you know, that it's a valid issue to bring up. Right. So my reasoning is, Less to do with the fact that I, you know, sidewalks. I think it was Selectman Bean or one of the Selectmen for years who said, I mean, people don't even use sidewalks half the time anyway. And it's like, and, and I might be wrong, I thought it was Phil who said that. But I, I just think we've got, when we're going to look at the entire warrant and we still got many to go, Please. it's another example. I don't feel, I don't feel like there's a plan. That's my word too. There's a plan between the sidewalk cap reserve fund and what actually are we going to do with it? and concrete or asphalt. We've seen sidewalks get built both ways, and the question always asked to the Director of Public Works, who's maintaining them? So anyway, that's my two cents. Well, Mr. Warburton, you're singing my song for several years now. I've been saying we need, you know, I think the number was enormous when I said a couple of years it took me to get the answer. I got estimated how much it would take to repair all sidewalks oh. in town. What was it like thirteen million dollars? Oh, exactly. Down? It was a very large number. Whatever. <coughs> I don't remember yeah. Exactly what it was. But I think uh, Chris made a really good point at the second meeting. I do have a seven minute, seven and a half minute uh, video snippet here. But he took he took a totally different approach in, in selling the concept, and that is, if the town is sued over EDA, and it's demonstrated that the town has done nothing to repair its sidewalks, which is evident in our recent history, then the court may you know, or even a jury yeah. may start looking uh, negatively at the town as a whole in terms of how they're treating uh, the ADA as a general rule. I understand what you're saying also about the numbers. I don't know, $100,000 seem to be just like picked out of the air. Um, how would you guys feel if this were a different number? I mean, I hear, I like the reserve fund concept, yeah. so let's proceed with endorsing the concept of the reserve fund. But and then talk about maybe we could suggest a different number uh, this year at least. But this is exactly why this discussion came up before, and it's the same thing in corporations. We cannot, as a town, put articles because we're in the reaction mode that somebody may sue us. Think about what we're saying. It's not the only reason. No, I know that, but I'm just some of the comments you alluded to, which I may agree with. But the point I'm saying is. We've got to get away from this stuff and worried about whatever, even though it may be reality, we've got to, you know, educate the public on what we're proposing for the entire warrant and those things that, okay, yeah, and it, would, it should have little to do with all these other outside influences because if that's the case, then we, we would have, to Regina's point, we'd, we'd probably have, instead of $2 million, we'd have $50 million yeah, the, warrant. The, the liability argument that Chris brought up at the Select yeah, meeting that's, was a total that's, surprise to me. I had never thought of it, and I thought, well, gee, just, what a novel idea. I hadn't thought of that angle. I think it is a valid angle, <coughs> and guess what? From my point of view, it's not the kind of angle that makes me go one way or the other. That's correct. What does make me go one way or the other is they, <coughs> they come in here with a budget. No longer is there sidewalk maintenance in that budget. Right. right. Why? Because they're going with this concept here, and I and I love that. No more of this double dipping. Once in the one article, and once in the budget. Now we're going to have a capital reserve fund, all right, and we're going to put some money into it. Maybe it'll be enough to start doing something right away. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be something that we have to fund over a period of years before we can do something meaningful. But I really advocate the creation of this fund. 
I don't necessarily buy into the $100,000, whatever the number is. We really do need to have this kind of fund. Otherwise, nothing's going to get done. And that is a default advocacy for basically ripping up all sidewalks in town because you're basically saying, <laughs> if we have sidewalks in disrepair, let's keep them that way. And they will just deteriorate by nature. Uh, so we don't have to spend the money to rip them up ourselves. Huh? I mean, I don't think anyone really wants to rip up sidewalks. But the problem is but that to that's what we do if we do nothing, uh, is we effectively let uh, nature rip up our sidewalks. I understand that, but let me, I'm looking at uh, Mr. Ladd and Mr. LeBranch especially. We've got sidewalks at Hampton Beach that have been deteriorated for 70 years. Oh, wait, 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 well, no, but what I'm saying is this article Ryan, is not going to do I, I believe I still have the floor, and your comment was about, oh, okay. Your I comment apparently was actually about state owned sidewalks. Oh, no, but I'm right? just using that as a reference. The town has repaired okay. the sidewalks at the beach. Okay. Well, some, yeah. All right. and, and the state is completely negligent. Uh, well, I understand that. I'm in, just in, using in their sidewalks. So right. I don't want I don't want the beach to get you know tarnished. It's got nothing to do. Not tarnishing the beach. I'm no, 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 no. This this Warren article has got nothing to do with state-owned sidewalks, and never I should have anything that. to do with it. Well, so, Miss Regina, does with the motion that was made by yeah, the Selectmen like two years ago. Well, potentially it doesn't, Regina, because I think it's. That I said. I no think it's that, absolutely right? absurd that the Board of Selectmen would volunteer to subsidize state expenditures to maintain state property. It's just beyond absurd. The whole reason I got into politics to begin with was to advocate against that absurdity. I'm and furthermore, I will point out to you, furthermore, yeah. I will point out to you that this Warren article does not grant the Board of Selectmen as agents to it, is it? As agents? Oh, they are. Yeah. I object to that element of it for sure. Because it ought to be, it ought to be, uh, you know, it, Having a single entity uh, decide whether or not to spend money from this fund, you know, leads to a lack of oversight. The basic concept of American government is checks and balances. With just one entity, there's no recourse at all except going to court, which no one wants to do. Right. I mean, if you're going to have, is, is there some reason this has to be done during the course of the year? Can't wait for a town meeting vote. I don't see any reason for it. And if there is, let another body be involved, like the Budget Committee. Let it be a supermajority, like a majority of two-thirds, say, two-thirds of the select and two-thirds of the Budget Committee agree, and they can disperse it. Or a vote by town meeting warrant. That would make more sense. So that's a problem area I have with the, the capital reserve fund. So apparently we are not ready to vote on this tonight, I guess. Mike, did you something to say? Are there any other issues or something else that we would like management to speak of when they do come in to speak on this warrant? Mr. Pluff. The Warren article to take the $1.5 million that was in the Capital Reserve Fund to finish Route 1. How much uh, of that money is for sidewalks on Route 1 left and right? Or what, 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 we haven't even seen what they're going to spend right. on sidewalks. All we got was a proposal that said repave re and finish Route 1 sidewalks, mm -hmm. and it had something about ornamental lights in there that I don't know yep. whether they're going to change the lights or not. I think they're staying on the poles, but I don't know that. But but that's a good question to ask. How much money from that $1.5 that came out of the Capital Improvement Road Fund right. for mm -hmm. reconstruction for sidewalks? So we are spending money for sidewalks. Even though it doesn't say we're spending it for sidewalks, it does in that Warren article, and it came out of the Highway Fund. Well, it is questioned by some uh, that spending money for sidewalks from the Road Improvement Fund is uh, uh, not an appropriate use for that fund. Well, they're okay. going to do it. Well, somebody is. We they need to be called out when they when they do <coughs> it's appropriate. That's just that simple. To sit here and is say. Is there any other? Okay. I, I think we ought to ask that question. I think yeah, we ought yeah. to have an answer to it before we vote for this. Yes. Any other questions or issues that we should be letting management know we'd like to hear more about? No? Great. Then let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Okay. Household hazardous waste. We all agree this is completely right. no problem. So I hear a motion from uh, so moved. Mr. Moore. Right? Yes. Recommend this. I and recommend the by Heritage Waste Collection. Who, who shall we second uh, this second. by? Oh, let's give it to Mr. Warburton. Okay. 
We ready? No discussion, I assume. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to discuss this, Mr. Frank? I just wanted clarification. Okay. Uh, town of Newcastle to participate? Yes. That's what it says. Yep. Right. To what extent? Why? Because the more towns that participate, the more revenue that's going to come in, right? They, they, okay. Don't they pay their fair share? Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, come yeah, in, they'll come out, they'll pay yeah. their own. Yeah, yeah, right. It's just a central area yeah, to bring it all to. Okay. Well, they're too small to have their own. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to go from town to town. So you put it in one. It's not an old castle. It's a new castle, so it's much smaller. Host community. <laughs> old castle. So make a message. message. <laughs> I hope you did. All those in favor? Unanimous. Yeah. That would be eight, of course. And we'll update yeah. that right now. Okay. Where was he? Relatively speaking, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah I love the title. I didn't make up these titles, by the way. This is the way it was given to us. <laughs> Complete Cemetery Building. <laughs> As opposed to an incomplete one, I guess. I don't know. It is incomplete now. You want to raise $11,000 for the purposes of completing the construction and enclosing the cemetery building, which I guess we did some time ago and just didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and this is coming from the, the, uh, the trust fund, the cemetery maintenance trust fund. So I'm like okay with this because it's like. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Mr. There's no tax impact, and it's got nothing to do with the other side fund balance, our so-called surplus. Right. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if I could, well, I'm going to make one even better. Mr. Walbert, if we could take 33, 34, and 35, these are all coming out of the cemetery uh, trust, burial trust fund, which we... Let's do them one at a time. Well, I... Yeah. Okay. I'm I just think saying they're probably non-controversial as they're well. They're not. If, if the money's in there, they've so, got a half a million in there. Mr. Frank, you're making a motion to recommend. Yeah, I'm making Mr. Walbert in second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Seven zero. No. What's this? He's abstaining. He's one of them in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll be abstaining. He's not abstaining. He's not voting. It was seven zero. Seven zero. Seven zero. Seven zero zero. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Seven Purchase zero. tractor loader for cemetery. Again, the same yeah. financing mechanism, yes, I right? Motion to accept. And and there's a motion by Mr. Frank DeLuca, <laughs> and it was seconded by Mr. Brian Warburton. Ready to vote. And being no discussion, all those in favor are raising their hand, and we'll see once again that it is seven zero, nothing. Zero. I'm sorry, who made the motion? Frank. Frank and Brian. Brian. You can make a motion. <laughs> I'll move Article 35, Mr. Chairman, for the. Uh, You're recommending it? Uh, what did I say? You're going to move it to recommend. I recommend, thank you. I'll second it. The trees removal. Yep. So we got that, Barbara. That was an inversion of motion and second. Uh, seeing no discussion, well, let's do a little, little briefy on this thing here. Fifty thousand dollars from the maintenance fund for what purpose? Remove, Remove trees. trees. Right. This okay. Is, this is so that's what it is in essence. Yeah. Uh, I hear no discussion, so I see we're all going to raise our hand in support of this, and the vote is again seven nothing. Seven zero or those who are mathematically inclined. <laughs> Cemetery tree mm -hmm. removal. Now, did we just know that's, that's, that's what we, we did? Article thirty six. Okay. Recreation infrastructure special revenue fund. One hundred twenty five thousand rounded off uh, to be taken out of the uh, recreation fund for various purposes that you can all see listed here on your screen. Even those at home, of course, are looking at the monitor so they can read it themselves. Is there any uh, discussion on this warrant at all, other than the fact that there's no tax impact? Because it's coming not from the unassigned fund balance, but from the recreation fund whose money comes from parking, parking lots. 20% of the parking lot revenue goes into this fund. So it's actually not tax money in that sense. It's fee money. I make a motion we accept it. Do I hear a second from Mr. Plough? You got that, Barbara? Any discussion? I, well, I have a Mr. Frank DeLuca motion, Mr. Plus seconded. So are we all set with before we were talking about for the culverts by Kids Kingdom about revenue sources? Because if we pass this, I'm pretty sure this knocks the uh, parks and recs down to next to nothing. So I just want to let the budget committee realize that 
if we pass this one and we still want to discuss the other one, we might be better off. Yeah, well, leaving that, it yeah. all open I think that, so. that's a good point. It will be highlighted when we get back to that Warren article. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Because the question of how much is in that fund will obviously yeah. become a factor. And that may be our answer to our question right there. There you go. Yeah. And hearing no other discussion, Mr. LeBranch, no discussion? Okay. You just, you just said what we need to know how much is in there. Right. Well, we're able to vote on this particular article, right? We got a motion, we got a second. All those in favor? It is uh, unanimous at 8 0. What happened to the cemetery kids? Oh, they were passed unanimously. Okay, next we have uh, information technology upgrade. Excuse me, but Mr. Chair, how many more do we have? Just uh, four more pages. <laughs> no, but how many more? Do we have like 10 more? Or? Uh, we can make it. We can make it. No, I'm, it's just that I have to go. Then, then go to the bathroom. <laughs> 46. Just going back to 7. I can't wait. 47. All right, what, what is disturbing <laughs> to me about this, first on its face, is it's from the unassigned fund balance. Why? Yeah. Because uh, it produces that no tax impact, which everyone will basically do a no-brainer and vote yes right. for because it says no, no tax impact. And I don't have a, sorry, a problem with that when it's something we really need. But I don't see anything like the fire protective gear. Yeah. We really need this, I don't see a really need this kind of thing. It ought to stand on its own with its own tax impact. Um, and it's also broadly stated. I mean, it's covered everything in town. I mean, oh, we're going to buy a bunch of hardware and software and services. And you name a department, big or small, it's on this list. So it's like completely vague. So any discussion, Ms. Regina? I just wanted to make a comment, actually. Because I realized I've had to, uh, for personal reasons, hook up a lot of my security. Uh, so, and I have McAfee giving my, you know, daily things on my phone and stuff like that. And in here tonight, this is, and I noticed, which I haven't had a chance to ask the town hall yet because I didn't realize it till later this afternoon, that I make sure now that with the McAfee that every site I go on to has that M there in the town website and it just got a notice on my phone that this the board of selectmen public network is not secure mm. and not good. Uh, so i think that um i don't know if all this i think maybe if we get some clarification on what it will consist of but i think that we definitely need to make sure that we're at least upgraded enough that our system is safe um, Personally, I have had a lot of issues I've had to deal with in the past month as far as uh, cyber fraud. So I'm not sure exactly where it came from, but I've been able to settle it. And I've had to hook up a lot of my security because of it. But I think that we do need to make sure that the town's, everything in this town is protected the way it should be. So I'm not sure if this is exactly going to do that. I'm not an IT person whatsoever. But in my recent experience, I've noticed that this Town of Hampton website is not McAfee checked or whatever it's called. It's not up to McAfee standards. And all the other sites that I go on, I make sure are now since that has happened to me. So I think the town website does definitely need to get addressed at some point fairly soon. So. Well, if I may comment, I'm not, I'm not a fan of McAfee standards, although it's better than no standard at all, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I have a problem in the information technology space in general in this town, especially when you consider that we spent some, some money just a few years ago on what was called an IT audit. We had an independent guy come in here. Uh, he interviewed you know, all the department heads and other personnel in terms of their information technology needs and how they were or were not being met. And I saw it as you know, a, basically a major failing grade that this town got. And some of the major, in fact, the IT budget committee, on, uh, the IT subcommittee of this budget committee did a report on that, as you may recall, two years ago, and highlighted some of the major points that were made there, and I don't see that any of them have been addressed. We were addressing other things that weren't even, even, even discussed, uh, certainly not emphasized at all in the IT audit report, which clearly indicates that we have a problem in terms of leadership in that area. Which, of course, by the way, 
IT leadership, information technology leadership, was the number one thing.